What is up guys, Grenader here. Let's discuss Black Ops 3 for a sec. You know, it just came out, so I just wanted to make a quick video kind of discussing about Black Ops 3 while we have some Black Ops 3 gameplay in the background. Yeah, let's get some of that gameplay in the background, guys. Yeah, let's go. I think I don't even know how well I do in the game. But anyways, regardless, let's talk about Black Ops 3 and how, how much weight it has on itself. And by weight, I mean pressure to be the, the, the make or break of Call of Duty. The past Call of Duties have been crap. Crap. Just uh, absolute trash. Iggy trash. Like, it's not even good. It's, like, disappointing to play. Like, then they hyped up. They overhyped the commercials and stuff. And then you play the game, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? What is this? This is not what I paid for. And, you know, it, it's just kind of annoying. Because imagine if every iPhone launch that came out, you know, every year a new iPhone is released, right? Imagine if, if like, for the past two years have been crap. Imagine that. Imagine how annoying that is. And knowing because there, it's not like every month a new game comes out. Hey, new Call of Duty is out every month. Yeah, no, it's not. It's every single year that it comes out. So we have to wait till next year and next year and next year. And we're aging along with the freaking franchise. Next thing you know, we're 60 still waiting for a good game. Black Ops 472 coming out. And you're like, come on, man. Pull out a good game, man. Come on, man. Come on, get a good game out. You know, and I think Black Ops 3 might be a good game. Might. You know why I say might? I say might because usually, you know, Treyarch does a good job with its Call of Duty games. But at the same time, they did this shit in freaking Ghost. You know, they try to overdo it. They try to, and when you overdo something, you just... You just don't do it right and you know they tried adding the zombie the aliens mode and all that stuff and bigger maps and all these complex moves and the slide and it just failed and completely failed and hopefully black ops 3 will not fa fail us for like i've what i've played so far i like the game but again i say that every single year i play the game why because it's new and it's different and it feels awesome when you first play it but then after a while, you start realizing how much of a piece of trash it is. And after you're unblinded by, like, the freaking hype and all that, you actually see how bad the game is. But, disregarding that, let's talk a little bit about the, the features and the stuff that comes with the game. Now, we're not talking about last gen, because last gen, at this point, is irrelevant. It is irrelevant. I don't want to get into that topic and debate, but last gen, 360, PS3, I'm sorry, guys. Y you gotta let it go. There's just no way of saying it. You guys, you know, you're out of your league. You just gotta stop. Anyways, now speaking, current gen and PC, you know, uh, let's start talking about the features that um, the game's gonna come out with, and one of which is a co-op campaign. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Doesn't Halo have one of those, I think? I think it does. Anyways, a co-op campaign, that is awesome. You know, I could collaborate with you guys and we could both do a dual Taj freaking ca campaign mode thing, you know? That is fun. Wouldn't that be fun, guys? Leave, that, leave a comment down below if you're interested in just collaborating like that. That would be pretty cool, actually. Um, so far, I pre-ordered Black Ops 3 for the PC. I know, I know, chill your nuts, I'll get it for the Xbox One too, but I wanted to get it on the PC first, because first of all, better graphics, duh, second of all, I can record it with my graphics card at 1080p 60 frames per second, and on, um, freaking the Xbox One, I can only do 1080p 30 frames per second, but nobody likes 30 frames per second on YouTube anymore, so I might just do 720 60 FPS on that, and other than that, you know, I'm going to be playing with you guys a lot. I'm going to be playing. I think that's a very cool idea that I just came up with on the fly. You know, a co-op, the co-op campaign thing, you know, just like collaborating like that. Um, along with that, uh, Zombies is coming out again. You know, you know obviously that <laughs> that's like a given. And let's see what else. Uh, multiplayer, right? Multiplayer. Yeah, that's always in every Call of Duty. 
Uh, let's see. A uh, free, a uh, free running mode. Something, another mode that no one's gonna play. But you know, they advertise it. Just you know, another check off the bullet list, right? Or the bullet. I don't know what I was gonna say. But anyways, moving on from that, we've got the custom paint shop. Um, that sounds interesting. It sounds like people are going to try to imitate the camos that you should earn instead of actually earning them you know if, if like for example the diamond people are going to try the people are going to actually you know they're not going to try they will more most likely like on youtube you're going to find eventually just youtube be swarmed around like freaking how to make diamond looking camo and paint shop you know and i think that's a it's it's okay i like it it sounds it sounds like a good concept but Come on, guys. You know, it, it's not its not going to be a long time before we start seeing boobs and penises and genitalia all over guns and everything. Like, you know, I don't know. I just don't feel it. I feel like the paint shop thing is, like, too much, you know. But anyways, I might like it eventually. I don't know. I haven't tried it, so I can't really say much about it. But, you know, that's there. And I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it Black Ops is bringing to the table this year. So hopefully, fingers crossed, toes crossed, genitalia crossed. Let's hope that this game is a good game and that we have a good and amazing year. And hopefully this game will make up for all the last two mistakes that should never had happened in the first place. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. And make sure to subscribe and give some that button a big, big, big kiss and subscribe. You leave a comment down below if you want to collaborate in uh, that uh, co-op campaign thing. I think that's a pretty good idea. And uh, actually, if you're interested in that or if you just want to co you know, contribute to the comments and stuff, uh, if you're going to get Black Ops 3, which I think most of you are, uh, let me know for what console or what, uh, what platform in the comments down below. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, and y'all have a good day. Peace out.